Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So um, I have been working on my uh, ring bound journal for my, or with my nostalgia kit. So I just thought I would come along today and, you know, do a quick craft with me. Um, just kind of doing some finishing touches really. I mean the kit um, or the, the journal itself is kind of pretty much, um, you know, almost complete. Although I say that, I'm sure there's probably another couple of hours worth of work still left to do. Um, but I just thought I would come on and we would do a quick kind of craft with me and do a couple of the bits that need finishing off really. So these are my pages that are complete. So I'm going to kind of pop them out of the way for a moment. And then here I've just got a couple more pages that need completing. Um, so I thought that we'll just quickly pop these together and obviously as you can see I've kind of more or less placed things around you know where I want them so I'm just going to ink up some of my little hole reinforces Oops. so that I can kind of pop them on so and I just kind of buy these in a sheet of white ones and then just obviously just ink up you know the whole sheet um, you know, doesn't have to be perfect. Some come out darker than others, but you know, that's fine because sometimes you want them darker, sometimes not. So, but I very rarely use them white. Um, I do tend to always glue them on as well. Uh, I mean, they are kind of, you know, newish. So, I mean, they should kind of be strong, strong glue, but I never trust things, um, you know to stay stuck down and obviously the last thing you want is things then peeling off of your you know your journals so I do like to kind of reinforce them by gluing them gluing them as well so just popping that on there now this page here all I've done is taken some of the background page and I just printed it double-sided onto some kind of cardstock um, as you can kind of see there and then I just made a pocket here just by obviously popping another piece of the you know the cardstock over the top like that and then I just took one of the building pieces backed it onto just some lace and popped it down there so that's kind of all I've done so far on this page and then probably might just add kind of a flower or something around and also what I've done is I printed off a bunch of you know bits and bobs that we can kind of fussy cut around so do you know what I thought I'm going to come on and actually be really organized and you know best laid plans and all that despite thinking I would come on and be so organized I have still just now at the very first kind of reach for my scissors misplaced my scissors so although a lot of my stuff is really neatly organised, clearly my scissors were not one of those things. So I'm just fussy cutting around some of the butterflies that just come in, in the kit and um, just fussy cut around those like that. And then I'm just going to kind of pop a butterfly on I think. now. I was going to put it up here, but actually I quite like it kind of down here on the actual pocket. And then what we could do, you know, and again, I mean, I don't know whether this is going to look good or not, but maybe kind of pop some lace along or across the top. Yeah, so I quite like it like that. So just going to glue the butterfly down. And I really like just gluing the butterflies down just kind of in the middle. So as it looks like the uh, wings are flapping. So, you know, I kind of leave it like that. Let me just move this page out of the way so we can kind of concentrate on one thing at a time. So we've got that like that. And then just thought we'd have this grey lace kind of up the, up the top. What we could have done was actually had some down there as well, but never mind. Let's just say. And I'll just kind of wet glue the the lace on. I'm just going to um, pop quite a bit of the lace on, uh, the glue on, because that lace trim is actually quite wide. So 
and I don't want it kind of overhanging at the top too too much so you know I'll just pop quite a bit down of glue down so that I can kind of have it you know down a little bit like that and just cut that off like that Is, uh, just went skew if there on the end. And just trim this off like that. Okay, just going to uh, pop a bit of glue here because I really don't like it when, you know, things that in my mind should be then laying flat. If they're not laying flat that just um, kind of irritates me so and we could have a cute bow there um, obviously this is kind of thin up here because this is just a single sheet so the bow may be kind of a bit too bulky so what we might do is might just finish off the butterfly with a bit of kind of diamante trim so just put that down here. That looks pretty. If we can have a... I do really like the bow here. Um, just don't know how that's going to affect that kind of thickness of that paper. So. Perhaps what we should do is decide what we're going to do on the back or whether we want to leave it plain. Um, you know, and then we might have a better idea as to kind of um, how to leave that. So let me just have a look through all my bits and bobs. I have got this um, card here. So if I just cut around that. This looks like it's a bad day at the office. My my cutting doesn't look very straight today. Um, never mind. Never mind. Hopefully it will kind of just mingle in a little bit once it's kind of stuck down. So we could have that up there. And then I'm thinking if we just had a bit of lace or something at the top again, then hopefully that would kind of reinforce it enough to be able to actually have enough thickness to put the um, bow on the back side, you know, because I would quite like to do that. Let's just have a look through my little bits and bobs that I've just got here to the side. Um, I've got some fabric ruffle in this print because, um, oh, that's really kind of cute just there randomly, isn't it? What do you think? Um, yeah, I printed some of the the fabric for the cover so that's what that kind of is is just kind of the off cuts I just made a couple of ruffles so perhaps we could have it kind of like that not sure about the black the black's always my favorite normally um, but weirdly enough I wasn't quite so sure just then normally the black is uh, just always always my favorite so let's just pop our our whole reinforcers down don't know what it is about that black um you know faux diamante kind of trim it just is really striking i really like it Loved it for years. <laughs> so uh, it's got some longevity to it because the novelty's kind of not worn off yet. Still love it. I'm just kind of putting that there. We could have a row of kind of tickets. No, I don't think we'll have those. Um, just really looking to kind of reinforce it so that I can pop that bow on the other side. So. Uh, 
perhaps we should have the ruffle down at the bottom because perhaps that's a bit strange just in the middle of there. <clears throat> just going to cut some of the threads off. Yeah, so this was just off cut from decorating the cover. I just made a couple of, um, you know, small pieces of ruffle, which is super cute to be able to have them in the same pattern as the actual paper line is awesome. As you can tell, the novelty of printing on fabric has still not worn off for me. <laughs> it's still very exciting to me. I wonder how long until that novelty wears off, I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, still still very exciting to me, that is. So, um, and yeah, love the whole, oh, I can print ruffles, you know, um, I'll print fabric and make ruffles matching kind of perfectly. That's just really right up my street. So, um, yeah, really, really loving that. That's probably been, for me, like one of the most exciting things I've kind of done, um, you know, during my <laughs> my journal making journey. That's probably, for me, been one of the most exciting things. I wonder if I should just have that as a little tuck. Perhaps I'll do that. So what I'll do is kind of have it like this. So as I glue around this, So I'm sure that I've got it, you know, glued in the right spot. If it's a tuck spot. So pop that down like that. Just going to get some tissue for kind of mopping up because um oh no, it's there. I thought I did have some, but I just couldn't spot it for a while. So uh, again, because I've been kind of working on multiple things, I've I've kind of just moved everything out that was connected with you know one thing that I was working on and um, piled it up to the side so hence obviously the tissue just got then piled to the side we'll just pop this piece of lace along here <coughs> this was some really uh, wide lace trim which Weirdly enough, when I bought it, I thought, I'm mm, not quite sure how I'm going to use that. But I've actually kind of almost used this all. In fact, I think, you know, this is about all I've got left of this one. I have got some other slightly different colour. Um, but it's actually been really nice having it. So I think I'll have to kind of try and track some more down because it's actually been really kind of useful. Where when I bought it, you know, kind of sometimes you buy things and think, mm, not sure how I'm going to use that. And sometimes, weirdly enough, those things that you kind of buy, you know, doubting how you're going to use it, sometimes are the, the things that become your favourites, you know, that you use kind of all the time. Um, and that's kind of, I mean, I haven't been using it all the time, obviously, but it has, you know become a bit of a kind of favourite to use. It's really nice to use. So, right. I'm kneeling up, which I love kneeling up. I, I've i always knelt up kind of, um, you know, all my life, find it really a comfortable way to kind of sit. But for some reason, my knee's hurting today. So um, I must try and stop kneeling. I'm gonna put this in the middle now because obviously we've got that blingy piece there. So I just want to kind of Oh, perhaps I shouldn't have that because perhaps that's going to do that whereas otherwise it's going to lay flat or perhaps we won't be able to have the bow there mm, perhaps we could have the bow here oh let's have the bow here on this page so we'll put the bow down the bottom I'll just put another glue stick in yeah my knee is um, just hurting a little bit today so I don't know why but sometimes kind of that happens doesn't it and I must try and get out the habit of constantly kneeling up, but it's kind of my favourite way to sit. You know, kind of as soon as I try and sit down, I mean, even at work, I sit on my kind of desk chair, I kind of get on it and kneel up. I mean, not with both my legs, obviously. I tend to have one foot kind of stuck out to the side and the other I'm kind of sat on. Um, yeah, I just find it really comfortable, but 
not when my knee's hurting, which is really annoying because now not only do I feel really low down because I'm not kind of, you know, propped up on my knee, but I, it's also not very comfortable, you know, because I really like sitting in that other way. Right, so that's that page and I like how that's kind of turned out. It looks really pretty. So I'm just going to pop that on the pile of the other pages that we've already done. And then the other page that I thought we'd do together is this one. So again, I've kind of prepped it so you're not just all sat there really bored kind of while I'm faffing around with the page. So I've got it like this and oops, as you can see, it's using one of the pocket pieces from the kit. So I just want to kind of pop something down the edge because to me that looks a little bit plain. So again, just going to pull in. I've got a couple of different colours of grey lace here beside me. So um, just going to kind of see whether one of those might look quite pretty there. Again, we could have a kind of grey bow kind of there. Oh, I've got a white one, which might look quite pretty. And then again, I might just pop on a butterfly. And again, just kind of cut out one of the butterflies. So, I mean, I'm hoping that kind of during this um, video, I mean, as I say, there's actually probably a good couple of hours more work to do on this journal. So even though I've kind of said finishing touches, it's doubtful we'll kind of get through it all. But, um, you know, what I thought we could do is hopefully kind of get time to do a little bit on the cover. So we'll see if we kind of manage to do that or not. But, you know, that's what I would quite like. Might have that butterfly in the middle of, uh, the flower in the middle of the butterfly. I just, I'm not sure whether I might prefer a different lace trim down the side or a ruffle. So I just kind of chop that out to that one. Oh, maybe I prefer that. Yeah, I think I prefer that one. Um, or I could have a ruffle, which I've got some white kind of ruffles. <clears throat> that's quite pretty actually with just a kind of semi semi ruffle it's suddenly gone very dark as if it's about to rain here so I'm just going to see what it's like with the lamp off I don't know whether that's actually too dark for you guys uh, it's just because where it's gone quite dark outside it's making it very difficult to kind of see having the lamp on so um well, it's probably not great for you guys, so I will pop the lamp on, but just, yeah, that's kind of, um, you know, just a little bit kind of, uh, what's the word, kind of distracting, I guess, for me, but never mind. So I might pop that kind of pocket to the side. I haven't really ever done that before. Let me again have a look through the lens because I do really like kind of standing up and just seeing how it looks from a different angle. Um, just have a look. Not whether I should just have a bit of lace kind of. Let me just see what it would be like with. Um, either a little bit of lace kind of along the bottom or we could maybe pop the butterfly onto a piece of lace that might be better oh that's quite nice yep i think that's kind of better so I might trim that lace down because it's quite quite monstrous at the moment so just kind of doing that over my carry bag that's to the side hooked on my handles of my drawer because so that's just then neatening that woo, neatening that up slightly 
right I like that so we'll just pop these bits on now I'm just going to take one of the journaling cards if I can find a smallish one Hold on. again I had a bit of an accident when I was printing and printed some things onto paper when I meant to print onto card um which is so annoying isn't it you know it's such a waste of well paper and obviously ink and time which is really frustrating but you know kind of I just sometimes you're printing on printer uh, paper and sometimes printing on card then my son was wanting to print something and he obviously just wanted to print it on paper so kind of in the confusion I ended up printing kind of five pages worth of um, like ephemery type pieces onto paper rather than card. Um, so I have been using them a little bit to kind of stick them around. But yeah, it is kind of a bit annoying. So now I'm just wondering whether to have this more like a pocket or a tuck spot. Let's have it as a pocket, I think. So I'm going to kind of, um, I'm going to hot glue it again just for speed because obviously doing a video, you know, I just want to kind of speed things up sometimes. So kind of glue it down like that. I want to kind of have it over to the side a bit. So I'll just pop that down like that. And again, I'm just kind of pressing that glue out because the glue can be a little bit lumpy otherwise so just spreading that out like that and then again just for speed I'm going to kind of glue this pocket down I think with the hot glue actually mm, oh, I'll use the wet glue the hot glue I find absolutely fantastic um, you know it's fantastic especially when you're doing videos for doing things quite quickly and obviously it's a very strong glue um the only thing with it is sometimes yeah it can be a bit lumpy and the only other thing with it is um if it's something like this you know that's kind of sticking out a little bit i feel like it's a bit vulnerable to being ripped off of the page for some reason I don't know whether that's just me but yeah I kind of prefer probably using non now which way up is this ruffle and again I'm sure it doesn't matter I'm sure there's not really a right and a wrong way but if there is I guess we'd best do it the right and the wrong way haven't we so let's just again I'm just going to oh can you see I've got that stick pin there attached to the glue gun that's from where it was lodged into my glue to stop it from clogging. Well, actually, it wasn't lodged into my glue, but, you know, where I use it from time to time anyway to unclog the glue. Right, OK. So we've got the ticket here, which hopefully still fits in there. So that's in there. Then we've got our butterfly, which... And pop that on there like that so and again I just hot glue this down just kind of like that and obviously the hot glue then is holding that lace in in place I'm just going to blob a little bit of glue or dob, dob, blob, a bit of glue onto that lace to kind of stick it down a little bit like that Okay, then I'm going to pop that flower. Oh my gosh, what's going on with my fingers today? Dropping everything. Right, let's get that plastic pin off of there. Not because it was a problem, but just I was finding it a little bit distracting every time I pick the glue up. Okay, <laughs> and then just pop the grey bow I think on here so I just okay 
So let's pop that down like that. Okie dokie. Right. So that's really pretty. I'm pleased with that. So that's that one. Pop that on the pile. So we're having a huge pile now of, um, you know, ready-made pages. So my final page, I have got the back cover yet to do. Um, but I actually haven't even got that with me yet because I'm still printing the um, fabric for, you know, if I'm going to use fabric kind of on the back. But this is the front cover. So far, as you can see, I haven't done a great deal. I've just covered it with the fabric. I've made a pocket here and then I've covered the, back, uh, the inside cover with obviously some of the background page and then more of the fabric. I just made a pocket here. So that's kind of all I've done so far with that. Um, so probably my best thing to do is now punch the holes in this so, so that I don't kind of lose track of where the holes are going to go. Because, you know, kind of if you don't punch the holes, sometimes I might then pop, you know, say an envelope down or something that then won't open. <laughs> because I've then put my, you know, my holes right where that envelope should be opening. So I should just punch my holes in now. And then I don't have to worry at all about that happening. Move my little pieces out of the way. Move that page out of the way. Right. So on this page, again, I haven't quite decided what to do. I definitely want something running down this edge because obviously it's a little bit tatty and you can obviously see kind of the envelope kind of flap, which, you know, I'm not too keen on seeing all of that. So either going to cover that with some lace or a ruffle I haven't quite decided yet so let's just pull that in like that and then obviously I've got um I've got quite a few white ruffles which I have stitched so let me just see what a white one would look like I mean that's really quite nice to be honest because it looks very clean um you know which is really nice so I'll just get this lace here see whether we might want that kind of running along the top of the pocket and that looks really pretty doesn't it oh, come on <laughs> definitely struggling today for some reason um, again just kind of picking bits up really from around the table uh, so I could have that one. I've got this banner. I really like these um, banner pieces. So I'll just cut that out. See whether we can have that somewhere on here. And actually, this one I probably would have been better off cut, uh, printing onto the paper because. Obviously, if I were to glue it onto the fabric, the paper would be slightly more bend bendable, flexible, flexible. Whereas the card is kind of obviously a bit stiffer. Um, but we'll just cut it out and we'll just see, because it might be that we could have this at the top, somewhere on that top of the page. So, we'll just have a look. You know, we might not have it anywhere on the page, but just cut it out and see. I mean that's kind of quite nice to actually head the page um, if that makes sense. That's a kind of almost like a header on the page I think looks quite pretty. And then let's just cut out another butterfly and actually we've also got lots of roses and things that we could kind of incorporate instead of the butterfly if we'd like but butterflies do look really pretty kind of they're another one of those items you, you know like the bling um and like so many things that everywhere you put them they just look great so uh well, that's how I feel anyway there's just certain items that kind of wherever you pop them 
you know to me that just looks really nice just just like that um kind of don't almost need anything else kind of going on there it just looks really good right now i have just knelt down again so i'm hoping that my knee's not going to hurt now but hopefully that's just a um a blip hopefully that's not going to be something that's more permanent I have got this little pretty sparkly flower, so I might try and incorporate that somewhere. I'm not sure. Uh, let's just have a look. Just going to bring in a couple of the pieces here from, you know, to be fussy cut out. So, obviously, got a rose. It might be kind of too, too dark in colour. I have got these pale ones, which are quite pretty, aren't they? But they might blend too much, actually. So I think I'm going to go for this one. Um, you know, I think it's quite pretty. Do you, do you like it? Because now I moved it, actually. The page looks quite nice with nothing. Hmm, not sure. Right, let's go for the bits that I am sure about. So let's kind of go for the gluing this down on the, the pocket. So again, I'm just using the obviously wet glue for this. Just pop it along, trim it off like that. So I hope everyone's having a really nice day. Um, thank you so much to all those people who have, um, you know, purchased my nostalgia kit. I hope kind of. You know, if you're doing a craft along with me or, you know, if you're making your own project, I hope that you're enjoying the kit. Um, you know, thank you to everyone who's bought, you know, any of my kits. Um, I really do appreciate it and I hope that you're all kind of enjoying using them. Um, I think I've said before, but obviously, you know, just timing wise, I haven't really had much of an opportunity to play with actually very much or very many of the kits myself so you know this has been quite fun for me having a bit of a play with this and um, yeah I've been pleased kind of with how I've been able to use it it's uh, it's been fun to use so hopefully that's been you guys experience as well if you've got if you've got that kit as well or as I say any any of the kits so um, it's kind of fun if you know if you're kind of working or have worked with kind of the same pieces that's that's fun for me I think hopefully you guys think that's that's fun too sorry had a had a nightmare now with things dropping down I was literally <laughs> reaching for a flower and then, lo and behold, everything then drops off. I shouldn't have, shouldn't have tried to reach across for anything on my nightmare of a desk. Um, right. So I can't decide, to be honest, whether to have this or not. Um, I do really like it there, but equally, I do actually quite like the simplicity of the page without it. Um, but then I do always think more is more, you know... Yeah, I shouldn't think that all the time. Perhaps just sometimes I should try and challenge myself with less is more. Um, yeah, not sure. Right, so I've just cut out a journaling card. So we're just going to pop that in to see, you know, how it would look with something or without something, you know, once it's got a few things in. So I do actually quite like that there, now that I've tucked something into the pocket, actually. So I'm going to go for that and glue that down. And again, I think what I'll do, I'm going to glue it down as a um, top loading pocket. Not because necessarily I'm going to pop anything in there. But I think we've kind of said this before, you know, if in doubt, just leave it open as a pocket. Because then you have got that option. Whereas if you've kind of shut it off 
you know, you can't kind of change your mind later. It's it's glued down then. So, you know, it doesn't affect anything by having that open there. It's not like it's kind of, you know, got a negative kind of impact. It's, it's, it's still stuck down. So, you know, if in doubt, leave it kind of open, I think. So, I do want to have that butterfly somewhere. I'm just, um... I don't want it getting hooked on kind of the other page, but hopefully it will be okay. And what I might do is kind of glue it down a little bit more so the wings are a bit less flappy. You know, there's a bit less of them kind of gaping and hopefully it will be kind of okay. Right, pop my whole protectors down. Oh, gosh, come on. Now just... My glue is now stuck on every single thing that I've now gone to pick up. Okay. Okay, so that's that page. Um, do we want to finish it off with a bow anywhere? I mean, it doesn't really need one, but... Again, you know, I always think kind of more is more. And again, actually, I've got some more of those gorgeous grey ones, which... Isn't that just such a pretty colour grey? Um, oops, I'm struggling to shut my jar of bows. Right. Oh, yes. We'll have the bow after all. I was kind of resisting because I thought, oh, I've used a bow now on every page that I've done in this, this um, video. But the problem is, once I hold it there, I always think it just looks pretty <laughs> and then I can't resist using it so I'm just kind of holding that down so as it makes it easier to glue just pop that on there like that okay okay love that looks really nice and I'm just going to pop that in there might might not leave that in there but we'll just kind of do that for the time being do we want a bit of bling on that um butterfly again I mean it's not necessary but I have put bling on all the other butterflies that I think have stuck down in here so maybe just for a bit of continuity actually I quite like it strangely enough without the bling it looks like a very shabby chic page Right, so that's that one. So we could work on the cover, um, or actually, I think what we'll do rather than that for the moment is I've got a few odds and ends here that we can kind of tidy up. So I've got a few things that I've just made into tags and what have you, um, you know, for stuffing the journal, really. So let's kind of have a bit of a look quickly at those. So. First of all, I've got um, a little kind of flippy pad. So obviously I've just taken some scraps and just stitched across and that's just a little pad there. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to use this little piece of lace and just kind of glue it across, kind of covering the, the stitching really. Not that there's anything wrong with the stitching, the stitching's actually quite pretty, but We'll just kind of cover it a bit. So just check which way round. So I'm going to trim it down a bit because it's actually quite long. So at the back you may well see quite a bit of the glue, but you know that doesn't really, you know, doesn't really bother me. I think that's fine. So we'll pop that like that, and then here. Again, just kind of run down a bit of glue there. Oops, it's still quite long, look. It's even longer than I realised, so. So I may trim that down further, but we could just leave it. It doesn't really affect anything. Let's just cut it off. So we'll just cut that like that. Okay, so that's one piece. So I'll just pop that on the pile. So I mean, obviously, you know, as I say, these are bits that I've already made. So, you know, 
it's not really kind of that we're making them super quick. It's that effectively they were kind of already done. Um, you know, all I'm doing is kind of adding either bits of lace or maybe kind of, you know, something that I'm fussy cutting or maybe a flower or, you know, just something very quickly because obviously these are just, you know, as I've kind of said, just like finishing touches really for, um, you know, putting the journal together. So, there we go. And I mean, I've said before, you know, flowers are really kind of great for fussy cutting because they are very forgiving. So, for instance, here, that leaf, you know, if you didn't want to fussy cut right around that, I mean, you could just trim that off because it doesn't look any the worse for wear for having that leaf kind of cut off. Nobody would know that that leaf had once been there. You know, flowers are all sorts of um, shapes and sizes. So, you know, kind of you don't have to be too worried about your kind of fussy cutting because so long as they kind of resemble the flower, it's, it's all good. You know, it doesn't matter kind of at all. Now, this one here is one of those kind of matchbook... Oh, gosh. I can never say this. I don't know what's wrong with me when I come to say this, but matchbox books. Matchbox books. Um, and it's a side opening one. So I really like that. And obviously, as you can see, I've just kind of glued it down here and then this bit tucks in here. Like that. Now, I was hoping to obviously pop a little rose here. The only thing is that rose is kind of too wide really for the piece so therefore it would be quite a kind of vulnerable um you know piece there so we could kind of have it here but to be honest again because this is going to be bending in and out i don't feel that that's kind of you know the best thing to kind of use there so i mean again we could just cut out another butterfly and um see whether we could have that anywhere on here I mean, I do really like the rose. I think the rose looked very pretty. So, you know, I do think the rose looked pretty on there. But just from a practicality point of view, I don't think it's necessarily kind of ideal because, um, you know, we're going to end up with a situation where kind of the leaves are just effectively kind of damaged, really. So, and it might be the same with the butterfly by the looks of things. He also is kind of too big for that. So that's a bit of a shame. So I'm just going to kind of pop that out of the way. Um, obviously, we've got a ticket. Again, the ticket's probably kind of, you know, not really kind of the right shape or size. Got a smaller one. Um, so, I mean, these could just pop in as little... Um, the word what is the word I'm looking for well tickets I guess <laughs> tucked tucked in tickets so I think that's how we all use these so this is one of those double tickets I mean I find these way harder to cut out than the um, flowers and way less forgiving so we could have that one in there and we could obviously have a bigger one too Oops. because obviously you know this um this style flap is like a little you know tuck itself so you know that's quite ideal for holding bits in we could just pop a little flower on there somewhere hmm, for some reason to me that looks then a little bit old-fashioned so um it didn't look quite as pretty as i'd hoped i don't really like that let's try a little ivory one that's better that's better um yeah do we want any bling on there? Let's have a look. Ooh, go away. Go away. 
I did have some grey flowers, um, which I don't think I've got here with me. Because I obviously had taken this downstairs and was using, or, you know, making bits downstairs um, for my sewing machine, I now don't appear to have some of the bits that I was using, which is a bit of a shame. Oh well. Just cut this down. I think I've got some more grey flowers in my um, bag to my side. So sorry to um, drag this out and do this, but I can't resist. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Right, here we go. I don't know whether these are even going to look any good, but I just um, I happen to know that I had some there. So let's just have a look. Again, try and see which is the right and the wrong way. Yeah, I quite like that flower. So again, I'm just going to hot glue that on just for speed. That. I could probably have that popped on beside that as well. Okay, so that's another piece kind of done now, so I'll pop that on the pile as well. So what's the time? Oh gosh, doesn't time fly sometimes when you're um when you're crafting? <laughs> Well, not sometimes, all the time, I find. Now, if you watched my other craft with me that we've been working on this journal, I had that envelope piece and I'd made um, a little kind of envelope pocket with some cheap and cheerful envelopes. And then I noticed that the envelope had um, split down the side. So I didn't quite know what to do with that. So what I've done instead is made it into a kind of journaling card. So all I've done is I've popped on some coffee dyed paper at the back. Obviously it was just an off cut from something else. So it's not kind of the size, you know, of the, the envelope. So what I'm going to do is trim around it. As best I can. Like that. And then obviously I want to trim around this bit, but hopefully not cut that lace so going to trim it from the back but holding that lace kind of out of the way Oops. because obviously I didn't really want to waste this because I had kind of you know I had made it so I wanted to kind of be able to use it but I obviously didn't want that split piece on there so this way you know I've still been able to use it and obviously now it's quite a useful you know, journaling card. So, you know, it's it's all good. We could pop a little rose down on the back to kind of tie it in to, to the journal. Or oh, we could have it up there. It also looks really pretty, doesn't it? Ooh, well, I quite like it in either place. Oh gosh, I, again, I come back to this thing where I just shouldn't try things because once I try them, I kind of then find myself liking them, you know, in both the places. So what I, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this down, I'm going to hot glue this on, again, so that hopefully I'm going to get a bit of a raised kind of appearance. So it's kind of got some, like, dimension from the rest of the card. So I'll just pop that down like that. Okay, so that looks pretty. And then this piece obviously just folds down like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut another one and pop it on the back. And this one, again, what you can do, you know, because again, flowers, very forgiving and all of that malarkey, 
I'm just going to kind of chop off, I think, those top leaves all together so this is not quite such a big flower. So I'll include these ones just here. Like that. And then here, I'm just going to kind of cut round just the rows here. And that's made it obviously much smaller just to go on the back of here. So just cut that down like that. And I mean, to me, you know, you wouldn't even really know that that had leaves there originally. So we're just going to pop that on again. I'm just going to use the wet glue this time. My wet glue that's got now things stuck all over the um, nib of it. I'll have to wipe it off in a moment. So let's glue this down and then I'll do that. Okay. So just pop that down like that. And then that kind of just ties in the front and the back. So gorgeous. And it's gone from being kind of a disaster that I thought, oh no, what am I going to do now? Because, um, you know, it was damaged. To now actually what a gorgeous journaling card really pretty so you know kind of don't ever bin things you know if they kind of appear at first like a disaster don't bin it because um it might not be a disaster it might be salvageable so this one here this is another piece that i've just literally taken two sheets of the background paper they're just on copy paper so this is quite flimsy and i just stitched it together like that so I'm just again trying to use up scraps and you know pieces and things like that obviously I've already got that butterfly that I'd cut out so it would probably be quite handy to kind of just pop that on somewhere if we could kind of pop that on or we pop it on I mean it's quite nice without it it doesn't necessarily need it um let me just have another look through the bits and bobs here see what else I've got okay right so I mean I have got these flowers so let's just these flowers might be a bit too big for this piece so you know again it's just kind of trial and error really but so this is that same rose this big one um, but it's in very kind of muted kind of tones for like a washed out kind of colour in a, um, yeah, like a kind of very soft shade. So I quite like the kind of muted look. I think they've both got their place. Um, you know, that vibrant one looked beautiful on that journaling card that we just kind of did just now. But this, I think... You know it's particularly against that blue it's kind of like a blue gray um it's quite nice with these very muted kind of very subtle kind of shades so nearly done okay right. okay so that's you know a bit too big so we won't have that there i thought it might have been a bit too big to be honest but again, I mean, we could just have that on the back, really. Um, it doesn't probably need it. So, yeah, I will probably just leave it like that. But maybe just pop the butterfly on, just because obviously I've cut that out now. Kind of might as well use it. Oops, there goes my glue gun onto the floor. Pop that on. And, okay. So, kind of coming together now. Just pop a bit of bling on that butterfly. Still haven't oh still haven't cleaned my nib off, so let me do that now. Okay, oops. There we go. Really pretty. So, you know, really quite a simple card, but really, really pretty. So liking how that looked so obviously there is a little bit of a way still to go um you know for the finishing touches but you know my pile is ever growing now so um 
kind of get in there slowly. So that's probably kind of it for today. I will just kind of get on and obviously finish off the um, the cover and things. So obviously, which we did the inside of the front cover there. So yeah, we have kind of achieved quite a bit actually because we've done quite a few journaling cards there. We obviously did the inside of the front cover and then we completed this page and this little piece here. So, you know, it's um, slowly coming together. So, yeah, I shall get on and um, hopefully kind of be back with a flip through unless it's taking even longer than I'd expected, in which case I might come on and do another craft with me. So hope that you all have a nice day and I will see you all again soon. Thanks then. Bye.